Hey guys, we are back with our new video. If you are new and haven't watched the previous video, I have provided the link in the description. Go and watch the video. And thanks for your massive response. In this video, we will learn how to use ellipse, slots, polygon, types of polygon, and convert entities. So watch the complete video. Now let's move on to ellipse. Ellipse is just like a circle but having a different shape it can adjust it in the radius like you can see in this video I can easily adjust it to make the oval shape or ellipse shape like this you can easily adjust the radius from here like this this was our ellipse command now let's see what is this slot slot is made to make some pocket between the parts so this is the stated slot you will simply select from here click one point click on the second point you want and just drag it of the dimension you want or you can adjust the dimension from here to like this so this was the stated slot this is our center point straight slot like as you as we have made the center rectangle center cent uh, circles it will just work like same like we have made just two points and it is increasing and decreasing on both sides this is our center slots we'll use all these commands to make our complex shapes or our different complex 2d sketches this, this is our polygon shape command you will select the point and drag it it is usually used to make nuts or bolts just select this if you know the diameter of inscribed circle which is inside the hexagon if you don't know about in the dimension of inscribed circle and you know the dimension of circumscribed circle select the circumscribed circumscribed circle command and give the dimension and we adjust it like this so if you if you want to make it for the construction or reference just check this button and now you can easily make line of your choice from here this was our polygon command the other feature of this command is that you can easily add the shape from here that if you want hexagon if you want octagon you want you want heptagon or you want square until go until three sides it cannot go we need that because it the the geometry will be open it will it will go to the two points so this is our polygon command now we will see what is the sketch fillet there are two types sketch fillet and chamfer sketch fillet will make the two edges round and chamfer will make them on angle so first of all we are going to make fillet we are going to make fillet so if you want to make fillet between two edges like this is a sharp edge you can see if you want to do it round just select one entity and second entities and you can make it easily round give the radius from here and you can easily make fillet and round it you don't want to make arc or something else this is our fillet command 
so if you want to make chamfer again select this and this and you uh, you can make chamfer easily give the dimension or if you know the angle give the angle and it will adjust it by itself these were these were our chamfer and fillet commands this is the point if you want to see the dimension between different or make the reference points you can make it anywhere you want and draw the shapes between them this is the trim command if you don't want any line or you can see that this is the extra and intersecting your geometry you can just drag click and drag you can just click and drag and you can remove the entity easily like this the other is convert entities command let me tell you what is convert entities if you will know about these commands you can easily make the sketches and save your time easily like if i have this part i make the entities here like this and now i want that this entity will convert from here to this this part too or this plane too so i will simply select this and go to sketch go to convert entities and select the sketch or entity i want to convert so select this and select convert entities select this and select convert entity now this is the easy way you can transfer the sketch from one plane to another plane so this was our basic 2d sketching tutorial stay tuned for the next video